Action. Take one, take two. Let's do this. You know what? It's your boy Alano B, the billionaire. So today, guys, I just want to talk about this book, The Richest Man in Babylon. And you know what? Readers are leaders. And before I continue, please don't forget to subscribe here, down here. Hit that uh, notification bell. And you know what? If you grow, we grow. It's your boy Alano B, the billionaire. So, guys, uh, there's a few. In my seg I always talk about a few things that I've learned from the books or from the book that I'm reading currently. And this book, this is not the first time I'm reading it. This is, the, I think, the second time I'm reading it because my plan this year was to read new books from January to September, and then from September I start rereading my books. So, and you know, the good thing with uh, rereading the books is that you get to learn new things that you haven't experienced before. And if you want to know that, please try it. And this is what this book is going to reveal and what I'm going to uh, teach you a few lessons from this book. If you don't read, I can always do the part for you. You just come and pick the, the lessons. So the first thing, basically this book is all about uh, savings, how to create wealth, how to keep and how to multiply. And as young, guys we have visions we have goals that we want to fulfill but there are things that we are not doing and you know these things are always found in the books and these books one of the best books that i will always recommend people to read is this the richest man in babylon by george glasson and the first lesson because it has many chapters but the first lesson that i want to pick is have a good plan when it comes to spending your money. I could, uh, expense your plans, they're always important in our life. And as young guys, we have uh, goals that we literally want to fulfill, but the only thing that we don't do is we don't plan. For example, if I'm working, then I, let's say I earn 50,000. If I can't plan with this 50,000, uh, 50, then it means the, that money will go into waste because I will buy things that I don't need. They are basically liabilities to me. But for me, we always want to lie to our mind that we really need those things. But in real sense, we don't need them. So if you have money, please know how to uh, uh, know how to spend your money. Have a good expenditure plan so that you have a budget for each and every element that you are buying. You can be so strict to yourself, but the benefit of this thing is that you won't go out borrowing money that you really don't need. Because many of us, we borrow money because we have exhausted what we, we had before. And if we analyze what we had before, we haven't used it according to the best ways. We just use the money because we thought we have it. And that kills us. That makes us not grow. So that's the first lesson. Then the second lesson is about uh, multiplying what you have earned. And by the way, this is the hardest part. Many people have asked me, hey Alan, I have money, but I don't know uh, what to invest. My, my, my rule is always like this. If you have money and you don't know what to invest, please don't, don't go out and ask for ideas because People will give you ideas that you are not passionate about and you will end up losing all the money. So if you can sit down, structure, have a strategy that you can use to multiply your money, it would be better than going out to ask for ideas. Yes, it's good to ask for ideas, but are you passionate in those ideas? Because if you're not passionate, it means that you will end up losing your money. And if you lose all the money that you have, been working hard to get then you will get demotivated and the funny thing about life is that when somebody starts losing the the, the the goal or you start deviating from what you had planned before you will end up even drowning so you have to make sure that what you are what you are earning you have to multiply it multiplying it it means that you have to invest in a good place you have to look for good investments that will give you money or will increase your money without even using a lot of effort so you have to know those elements then the third thing that i never wanted to mention is that before maybe i could have mentioned that before mentioning this but uh 
it's always good sometimes you don't have to follow the order because these are lessons that i have picked and i normally don't write scripts about them so i just go through them randomly so this is the saving you know for me uh, i i am a victim of not saving and for sure one thing that i can say since i changed my, my mind and started reading these books for me if i earn even a coin even one shilling i will even decide to save 50 cent and then in, uh, use the other 50 cent because you know what if you have something tangible with you you are able to fight with because if you are a christian you remember when um, uh, david uh, when david approached uh, when Goliath approached david then uh, the Lord asked David, what do you have? Then he answered, I have a sling in my hand. So if you have some savings, you are able to think with the little you have. Rather than somebody who even don't have anything and you go out looking for ideas, who will find these ideas? So you have to make sure that if you don't have more information, if you don't have... Uh, uh, good streams of income. Make sure that you save the little money you get so that once now you are ready for any investment You don't go out looking for money because nobody is going to invest in something that he I don't I don't understand I, I, I can't invest I can't be a partner if you don't even know how to invest you don't know how to save it's hard But if you convince me that you have something then I'm able to chip in with my little savings too so my point Especially to my videos, I normally refer to youngest because we have many years to live and we want to make sure that the life we are living is what we desire, not other people's life. So we have to save this money for future use. Even companies save. Who are you not to? Go ahead and save the money. Then the, the other point that I have um, uh, come to learn is that you have to protect what you have uh, what you have earned so this there's a story where this guy explains that uh, if for example you have been saving for I don't know, for a year and then you have like a hundred thousand in your account and then your sister realizes that you have money and then she comes in with a proposal that you give you give her a loan so that she can start her business so because she's your sister, it doesn't guarantee, she, she's not guaranteed that she will be given the money. So he explains, ask your sister the structure that she has that she will use to pay you back the money if you give her a loan. If she doesn't have that kind of structure or if she doesn't have the plan, please don't give her the loan because it's better to be stripped. It's better to, uh, to guard what you have earned than losing it in a very stupid way because because it's your sister no please be strict in that people who are around you can understand what your goal is what you want to achieve let nobody just play with your money because saving even 200 bob a day for one year it's too expensive majority of us we can't do that but if you have the sacrifice to do that then you should be able to guard what you have earned. Don't let it slip away because if you can't get it, then you lose it. And when you lose it, depression, stress, all those kind of stuff that people are going through will start coming in and this one will be, will be, will be a killer in your life. So make sure that you have those kind of uh, plans across. And then the second last plan is um, ensuring that as a young person, you have what we call securing your future income. Future income is that it means when you're in old uh, age, you can be able to earn without even working. So this means that your money is in good investments. Your money has what we call, you, you have passive income generation. So you don't go out suffering because you are in you are old so you want your kids to support you no live a life that even your kids will impress because they will see that this my parents did this so i am able to do this so you are not there to hustle from your kids because kids won't give you what you want so you have to also be able to get what you want so guys 
these are some of the lessons and we have many lessons from this book it's only that i normally pick a few that are relevant to me because if you learn those five lessons or six lessons you don't need to read the whole book you can put it aside and move to another book so guys my recommendation please go and read this book it's a good book and you know what readers are readers it's your boy alan B, the billionaire please don't forget to subscribe to our channel we are to, to 35 subscribers you know it's, that's a milestone so if you become the to, to that sixth then the other person will be and that's how growth happens taking baby steps so boy alano b the billionaire